When it comes to rust repair and welding patch panels, one question always arises, and that is, should I be butt welding? Should I cut a patch that fits that hole perfectly and butt weld that? Or should I cut a patch that comes close and lap weld it? So the idea behind butt welding a patch panel in is cutting a patch that fits the hole exactly. Then welding it solid all the way around, grinding it perfectly flat to this surface, and therefore not having to use any filler. Now the disadvantages that I see with butt welding a patch in are these. One, it takes a super long time to perfectly match a patch to the hole, especially on difficult rust repairs like rockers, uh, fender bottoms, uh, quarter panels, the bottoms behind wheels, uh, upper lips of quarter panels, and so on, cab corners. Okay, to cut a patch and have it match perfectly is, uh, that's pretty difficult. The second thing is that after you weld it absolutely perfect, then you're going to come by and grind those welds completely flat. Now, grinding welds flat on a small patch like this is fine. You, you wouldn't waste too many grinding wheels. But some of the patches that I've done uh, are very large and grinding those welds completely flat is uh, it's just to me it's a waste of grinding discs and time. And the third thing I decided that I would show you exactly what a butt welded patch like this looks like on the back side. So the issues that I have with butt welding a patch panel are these. Um, I took two pieces of metal, I butt welded them together the best I could, and uh, I didn't run a bead, I spot welded one, two, three, one right after the other. Now, it's solid on this side, but do I know what it looks like on the back side? So that when I grind these completely flat, I'm assured that my welds are still thick. So I decided that I would, I would do this and show you what the back side of this looks like. So here's the back side. And let me get the camera real close so you can see. So again, this is the front side. And I'm very confident in my welds. You know, I'm like, oh yeah, the, these two pieces of metal are completely solid. They're welded together. Remember, this is on a car. I can't see what's on the back side. Now this is what's on the back side. Now, you see the, this gap right here, and, and there's pretty good penetration. That's pretty good penetration, but this gap is what scares me. If I grind those welds completely flat on the other side, I'm not going to have very much weld left to stop the salt water from getting into this crack and bubbling and rusting my paint on the other side. So let's flip this over again and so again if I grind these completely flat I'm gonna have paper thin welds on this side and nothing on the back side from the water and salt nothing to keep the water and salt from getting in this crack and bubbling the paint. So the other method uh, is lap welding. And the idea behind that is to cut out all your rust, and it doesn't matter what your hole looks like, it doesn't matter what the shape is, it can be circular, triangle, square, whatever. Uh, then you're going to cut a patch that covers it, and you're going to lap weld it all the way around, just a series of spot welds connected together, knock it down, and fill it. Now the advantages of lap welding are these. Uh, one is it's very fast. Cut the hole out, cut the rust out, cut a patch that comes close, weld it up, knock it down and fill it. The second advantage is 
after you weld, you don't have to grind forever on those welds. You just grind down uh, the bad ones or, you know, the, the ones that are a little bit rough. Just grind it a little bit, the sharp edges, sandblast or wire wheel the rest of the crud out, knock it down, and fill it. And then the last thing I like is this lap welding is very good for intricate patches like uh, cab corners, rockers, uh, bottoms of fenders and, and door corners and tailgates, hoods and all that kinds of stuff where you have really irregular shapes. So for real intricate rust repair, rust repair I like to use a lap weld. And in all honesty, I do use a combination of lap welding and butt welding. And let me show you what I mean by that. Now, as I said, I use a combination of lap welds in the areas where you can knock it down and butt welds in the areas where you can't knock it down. In other words, I use lap welds in the open areas where you can actually knock the metal down below the surface and on the edges I usually use butt welds. So uh, this is a model or an example that I cut up and let's just say I cut the rust out here and this is the edge of let's say a door or a hood. Now there's always an inner panel there and I took the outer the outer part of it and just cut it with a die grinder across here. This would be the rusty inner panel that's left. Now when you cut a patch, you're just going to cut it so that it fits exactly like this. Let me see if I can get that nice and clear for you. Okay, so well, that's how it's going to fit right there. And let me see if I can hold it. Okay, so this part, this part right here is going to be butt welded because it's an edge. I can't knock, make that edge crooked. I can't bang this down right here so that I can fill it. So I'm going to butt weld the edges. Butt weld this, lap weld this. So then I'll be able to knock this down, all this. I'll just grind this a little bit, sandblast it, knock it down just from right here all the way around to right here to right here so all this up here I'm gonna knock down below the surface with a pointy hammer and fill it and then these edges I'm gonna butt weld and then grind these welds pretty flat I, I don't like to grind welds real flat because I like to have some meat uh, some welds on there to really hold that so I'm probably just going to grind that down and, and uh, try to knock it down a little bit and run the filler across there. So butt welds here, lap welds here. Knock this down, fill it, grind this and fill this the best I can. That's one example where I use a combination of both butt welds on the edges, lap welds in the open areas. Now here's another example of something you might see on a car. This could be the bottom of a quarter panel, it could be the bottom of a door, but it's a very common rust repair. So what you have is, is water and salt that gets down in here and it rusts the panel out from the inside. So you cut the rust away and then you die grind this because this panel might still be good on the inside so try to save that so you cut this out then you die grind this on the back side you're also going to cut because it folds over so you're going to die grind this and this and so what your patch will look like for this is a combination of of lap welding here and butt welding here so I cut a patch for that and what that's going to look like is this you're going to, you know, clamp it with a vice grips, maybe right here, and then weld this side. You can clamp it right on the edge or wherever you can to clamp it. Some guys like to put a couple screws in there to hold it, but I always use vice grips. So you're going to butt weld right here, 
and you're also going to butt weld right here. Then you're going to come up here and you're going to you're going to lap weld all this. Lap weld, lap, 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 lap. Knock this down and fill it. This you should be able to grind pretty darn flat, pretty flat. And because there's three layers of metal, you can really put some heavy weld right there. Uh, it can penetrate very deep, and you really don't have to worry about grinding too much of those welds away because you are able to use extra heat because there's three la layers of sheet metal right there. I'll show you. There's one, two, and three layers of sheet metal. So you'll really be able to put those, those butt welds use a lot of welds right there and not have to worry about grinding them too flat. So, butt weld, butt weld, lap weld, knock it down, and fill it. So, when it comes to rust repair and welding patch panels, I like to use a combination of both lap welds and butt welds. I use butt welds on the edges where I can't knock the welds down and I use lap welds in the open areas where I can knock the patch down and fill it. So I hope you enjoyed this video on when to use lap welds and when to use butt welds and if you did don't forget to subscribe to get my latest videos.